Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the surface area and the volume of rectangular prisms. So, to find the surface area, we need to find the area of each side of the rectangular prism and add them all together. Okay? And so we know that this side is the same as this side. And the area of this side is the width times the height. And since there are two of them, we need to multiply by two. So the next two sides are these two, and they are the same. So the area of this side is the length times the width. And because there are two of them as well, we need to multiply by two. And the last pair of sides are these two. And so the area of this side is the length times the height. And for the same reason, there are two of them, so we need to multiply by two. And so that is the formula to find the surface area of the rectangular prism. So let's say that the length is 3 meters, the width is 1 meter, and the height is 2 meters. What is the surface area of this rectangular prism? So since we have the numbers, we can substitute that into the formula. And so we know that the width is 1 meter, so we can put 1 into this variable here and this one here. Okay? Now the next step is to substitute the height, which is 2 meters. So we can put the number 2 into this right here and this one over here. And now the last step is to substitute the number 3 into the length. Now, 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 times 1 is 6. And 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. Okay? And so 4 plus 6 is 10. And 10 plus 12 is 22 meters squared. And so that is our answer. The surface area of this rectangular prism is 22 meters squared. How about finding the volume of rectangular prisms? So the formula to find the volume is the length times the width times the height. Okay, and where does this formula come from? Well, if you watch my last video, I explain where the volume formula comes from. Okay, so check it out. Now, we know that the length is 3 meters, so we can substitute that in here. Same for the width and the height. All right? And so the volume is 3 times 1 times 2, which is 6 meters to the power of 3. So the volume of this rectangular prism is 6 meters to the power of 3. Let's try another example. Here we have another rectangular prism. This time the length is 10 centimeters, the width is 4 centimeters, and the height is 5 centimeters. So we want to find the surface area and the volume. And if you can, you are welcome to try. All right? And so to find the surface area, we just use the formula. And we know what the length, the width, and the height are, so we can just substitute into these variables. So the width, as we know, is 4 centimeters, so we can put 4 here and 4 right here. The height is 5 centimeters, so we can put it in here and here. And the last step is to put the number into the length, which is 10 centimeters. Now, 2 times 4 times 5 is 40. And over here, 2 times 10 times 4 is 80. And 2 times 10 times 5 is 100. So 40 plus 80 is 120 plus 100. That gives you 220 centimeters squared. 
And so that's the answer to the surface area. The surface area is 220 centimeters squared. How about the volume? Well, remember the formula to find the volume is the length times the width times the height. And so we know that the length is 10 centimeters, the width is 4 centimeters, and the height is 5. So 10 times 4 times 5 is equal to 200 centimeters to the power of 3. So don't forget to include in your unit at the end. All right? And so the volume of this rectangular prism is 200 centimeters to the power of 3. I know that's a lot of information, but now it's time for you to practice. So go ahead and find the surface area and also the volume of this rectangular prism. In this rectangular prism, the length is 12 centimeters, the width is 3 centimeters, and the height is 4 centimeters. So when you find the answer, please put it down in the comment sections below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit the like button and also don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos like this. With that being said, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.